okay today our topic is about how to find fourth root of a quadratic cell okay finding fourth root of a quadratic quadratic cell so we will take one example find fourth root of a quadratic quadratic <coughs> cell okay how to do this for that we have to take one example find fourth root of fourth root of 28 minus 16 root 3 28 minus 16 root 3 okay you are asked to find fourth root of 28 minus 16 root 3 okay so first of all what do you mean by finding fourth root this is equal to square root of again square root of 28 minus 16 root 3 what do you mean by square root square root is equal to second root second root of second root which gives the fourth root fourth root of 28 minus 16 root 3 okay so first of all we have to what we have to do is first of all you take one square root okay first of all take the square root square root of 28 minus 16 root 3 okay let assume it as root x minus root y okay let us assume that square root of 28 minus 16 root 3 is equal to root x minus root y as usual squaring on both sides squaring on both sides gives 28 minus 16 root 3 whole square is equal to root x minus root y whole square squaring on both sides okay so here is square and root it cancels 28 minus 16 root 3 is equal to write this in expanded form which is equal to root x whole square plus root y whole square minus 2 into root x into root y a square plus b square minus 2ab which is equal to a minus b whole square so here square and root gets cancels x plus y minus 2 root xy okay now compare the compare the corresponding terms so in place of x plus y x plus y here 28 is there so in place of 2 root xy 16 root 3 is there so to the cancellation 2 cancels 16 8 times so root x minus root xy is equal to 8 root 3 again squaring on both sides again squaring on both sides gives xy is equal to 8 square into root 3 whole square square root it cancels 8 square is 16 uh, 8 into 64 64 into 3 ok 64 8, 8, 8 square means 8 into 64 into 3 ok uh, 3 4 is 12 3 6 are 18 18 plus, 18 plus 1 is 9 192 so x y is equal to 192 ok once again 8 square 8 into 64 into 3 3 4 is 12 3 6 are 18 18 plus 1 is 19 ok so here we got the value of x plus y which is equal to 8 and x y is equal to 192 ok so what is the next step the next step is finding the value of x minus y so as you know that x minus y whole square is equal to <coughs> x plus y whole square minus 4xy explained in the previous class okay how it forms x plus y is equal to 28 whole square minus 4 into 192 what is 28 whole square okay 28 into 28 8 is 64 4 6 8 was 16 16 plus 6 22 2 8 are 16 6 1 2 2 are 4 4 plus 1 is 5 4 8 7 7 84 7 84 minus 4 into 192 2 4 are 4 2 are 8 
four nines are thirty six, three, four ones are four, seven. Seven eighty four minus seven sixty eight. So fourteen minus eight is six. Here becomes seven. Seven minus six is one. Okay. X minus y whole square is equal to sixteen. X minus y is equal to square root of sixteen, which is equal to four. So take this as the second equation. Take this as the first equation. Adding both, x plus y is equal to twenty-eight. X minus y is equal to four. Adding these two equations gives two x is equal to twenty-eight plus four, which is which is equal to thirty-two. X is equal to thirty-two by two. Two ones are two. Two six are two. X is equal to sixteen. Now we need to find the value of y. Y is equal to we have to substitute either in first equation or second equation the value of x which is equal to 16. So 16 plus y is equal to 28. Y is equal to 28 minus 16. Y is equal to 28 minus 16. Okay, 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 2. 2 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so here. Root x is equal to uh, x is equal to sixteen, so six root sixteen minus root twelve. Root sixteen is four. Four minus root twelve. This is the square root of the given equation. Okay, that that given sir. Okay. Now we are asked to find fourth root. So how to find the fourth root? We found only the square root. We need to find the fourth root. Okay. For finding the fourth root, fourth root again we have need to find. The square root of this uh, given sir, given quadratic sir. Okay, so for that what you have to do is, okay, take the square root of this given sir, four minus root two, root twelve. Again, you have you need to find the square root. Take it as two x minus root y. Again, okay, again squaring on both sides. Okay, squaring on both sides. Okay, four minus root twelve whole square is equal to root x minus root y whole square. As usual, okay, four minus root twelve is equal to x plus y minus two root two root x y. Again, compare the terms. X plus y is equal to four, and uh, two root x y is equal to root twelve. Okay. That becomes squaring on both sides. Four x y is equal to twelve. X y is equal to twelve minus four. I mean squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Okay, square root x y becomes twelve. Here two square is four. Square root of x y both square is x y. Four divides twelve three times. X y is equal to three. Again, as usual, x minus y whole square is equal to x plus y whole square minus 4xy. What is the value of x minus y, which is equal to 4? 4 square minus 4 into xy is 3. 4 square is 16. Minus 4 is a 12. X minus y whole square is equal to 16 minus 12, which is equal to 4. X y x minus y is equal to square root of four, which is equal to two. So as usual, take it as first equation. X plus y is equal to four, and x minus y is equal to two. Again, adding both the equations. Here, x plus y is equal to four. X minus y is equal to two. Okay, two x is equal to six. X Is equal to six by two. Two threes are six. X is equal to three. <clears throat> Find the value of y. Y is equal to substitute in place of x three. Three plus y is equal to four. Y is equal to four minus three. Y is equal to one. So here, what it becomes? Square root of x. Square root of x is equal to three. So we can write it as root three minus root one. Root one is one. Three minus one. Root three minus one. 
Okay. So finally, what did we say? Square root of square root of <coughs> the given quadratic third is root 3 minus 1. That means square root of square root of 28 minus 16 root 3 is equal to root 3 minus 1. Square root of square root is nothing but 4th root. 4th root of 28 minus 16 root 3 is equal to root 3 minus 1. So this is how we have to find the 4th root of a given quadratic set. So how to find the 4th root of a given quadratic set? Square, squaring, finding the square root double times. First time finding the square root, okay, you will get an answer. Again finding the square root of the resultant set gives the fourth root of a given quadratic set, okay. Thank you very much. I hope you understood how to find the square root, how to find, how to find the fourth root of a quadratic set. Thank you very much for watching this video. Keep subscribing to Premium Tutorials. Thank you.